Hello, welcome to my review of the brand new Doctor Who Collect and Build Pandarica CD collection box thingy with the what's he called? Cyberman Pandorica Guard as it's called. Now each of the figures in this wave come with a piece of the Pandorica CD case. Each side has a CD designed to look like the Pandorica piece of the Pandorica. The one, each one is a classic story. This one is the CD with this one is Dot Two and the Giant Robot Part Two. Haven't got part one, I'll get onto that at some point. This video isn't reviewing the CD, that I'll do at another time. Poss probably because I can't be bothered to listen, I won't get round to listening to it for some time. But let's just focus on the figure. Now, this figure is... Oh, dropped his head. Yes, I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted that this figure is as like the one in Pandora Opens. This open comes with the Cyberman head that's open at the front and has these wire things hanging. It was found lying around there like that, and then Tactani and stuff like that and stuff like that. Now this isn't just an accessory to go with the body of the Cyberman, it can also be a head. If you take this out, and it's got a slot thing that goes into a hole there, and this you have to use a bit of force, line it up, and wait, is it lined up? There we go. And now he's got his head on. And the side man never had that bit open in the episode. It was closed up. You can force it shut, but I wouldn't recommend that. And that's the main feature of this figure. And then you've got a little dangly bit. Well, little wiry things there. At first I thought that was because you took the arm off and you put that in there. To do that before I thought, oh yeah, that's from the head. And yeah, that's quite a good feature. So features aside, let's go on to detail. The whole figure is sculpted very nicely. Lots of detail on the head. The skull that's in there, all the wires on the inside of the helmet. The rest means the missing handlebar. This figure is basically the um, Argos exclusive Cyberman that comes with the TARDIS play set but without the sword in its chest and with a closed head. It's pretty much the same detail wise. I think it's got the blaster on the left arm and this. And the buzz squashed down. Held it on that handlebar's missing, same as the other one. Rusty and stuff. And seeing as I haven't got that one yet, it makes up for it. it makes a nice addition to the collection, and it makes more sense than having a sword sticking into it. And to compare it to a normal Cyberman is, well I say normal, the one with a laser on his arm. You can see that the regular one has it on his right arm. So I've got the light on my lap and it's moving about. Mm. You don't really get, unless you use these all the time, you don't, you're not aware of how rusty and stuff they've made it look and you get a Better, better effect of it when you've got it compared to another one. And, oh, 
just for the fun of it, let's have a Roman uh, to go there. Like that. Let's take him out. Articulation. Head rotates 360. Can move about a little bit. Arms, let the shoulders go in and out. 360. Bend at the elbow. Rotate. It can do 360 at the wrist, but not overly easy. Moves that go slightly at the waist. Ball joints at the hips. Bend at the hip. Knee, not elbow. And ball joint in the ankles. Um, so no, that's about it for this figure. I would highly recommend this. It's a nicely detailed figure, good representation of the character. That's pretty much it. I'd rate it pretty well about... Uh, I can't... I mean, they could have given it some new articulation in the elbow as if they wanted to. Um, I suppose I'll give it 9 out of 10. Um, that's just for the figure, I'm not rating the CD yet. This review is just based on the figure that will come in another video. And that's all for this guy. So, I can just do that and pop him on there. So, and that's it for this guy.